Okay, next one is a point of inflection. Now, point of inflection is just a point in here, right there, the flat turning point of cubic function. So this one is when k is bigger, so it goes to your right, to the left, and then when it's k is negative, starts from the left to the right. Okay, so when this flat part point is the turning point, which is the point of inflection. Now this is also when it, the concavity of the curve changes. Now concavity is the one, the shape of the curve. So remember concave up, concave down. So for example, concave up was like this, wasn't it? And concave down. So the shape will change. So for example here, it's, this is a concave down if you think about it. And that's a concave up. So when in between that changes, that concave up, concave down changes, it's a point of inflection happening. Here it's concave up and this is a concave down and that's when in between that's the point of inflection. That's what it means by concavity of curve changes. Okay, so I'm going to do the examples now. Push it up. Now example says, okay, it says, Sketch the graph of y equals x cubed minus 8 and showing intercepts. Now, y equals x cubed minus 8. So what does that mean? x cubed was the, uh, going through the x-axis um, in, in the origin and it's minus 8. So it's bring the whole thing down to the negative 8. Okay, so uh, I'm going to sort of start sketching it for example this is our classic graph of cubic so i'll go y equals x cubed now from zero i'm going to bring whole thing down to negative eight yeah so i'm going to bring this down to negative eight right there all right so what happens then I'll sketch it here. Of course, what I'm what I'm doing is very rough sketch, and for you, you shouldn't be copying what I'm doing. You should use it in the grid paper and do it properly. So I'm bring this graph down to um, right there minus eight, right there. Okay, so. The whole thing is down to minus 8, we're here, and therefore I will have some x-intercept here, okay? x-intercept is y equals 0, so what would that be, guys? So I'm going to write something here, um, this was, what's it called? y equals x cubed minus 8. Now, in this point, we got y equals 0, isn't it? So y equals 0, I'm going to do it here. So x cubed minus 8 equals 0. And x cubed equals 8. x equals, like what I said before, it'll be look like cubic root of 8, which is 2. Because 8 is what? 2 to the power of 3, isn't it? And if I do the cubic root on that, I'll cancel this out. I'll left with two so here my x intercept is two so that's how i sketched it so that will be roughly done and hopefully you will do a little bit better graph than i've just did okay